Hello everyone, we're still walking. We're walking from Whitby to Scarborough on the Scarborough to Whitby Railway, which opened in 1885, closed in 1965. We're attempting to do it in the middle of a storm though, which is less than ideal. So we walked from Whitby, uh, Westcliff Station, we walked all the way up to Robin Hood's Bay Station, which is just behind us. And now, that was in our last video, and now we're going to do the next section up to Raven's Car via a place called Filing Hall. There's plenty of remains to be seen. Unfortunately, I can't get the drone up. I tried to do that in Whitby, and it, it basically tried to blow away. So, we refused to quit, so we're going to do it anyway. And we'll just put a series of videos out of us looking like a pair of wet plunkers. Stop meeting like this, and then I'll buy the fifth time, it's just awkward, isn't it? So there's the old station up there. We should hopefully see some remains of a bridge coming over. I don't know if we do or not, but we're gonna there's no remains now, just the remains of the embankment. So you can see the embankment, but the, the, there's no bridge remains, unfortunately. And we're gonna jump onto something called the Cinder Trail, uh, which is the, the old railway line. And you have to come on and off in little bits here and there, but, but most of the time, you can actually follow the entire track bed all the way from Whitbury to Scarborough, which is in the summer, an absolutely stunning railway line. In the winter, less so. So on the track bed now, there you go, Raven's car, four and a half miles, which is normally nothing, but on a day like today, it's a bit, it's a bit brutal. Yeah, you'd see it, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd see it, because basically it comes around, it would go up there, but, so that's where we're heading. It's actually much further that way, look. Can you see the street? Oh, you can, just, you can just make out oh, the edge of the cliff, edge. yeah, go with the fog, it's hard, isn't it? Oh, mate. We're in a cut in now, we're coming up towards Filing Hall Station. It's getting worse and worse and worse. Filing Hall Station, I think, served Filing Hall, which is just up the road. It's a school now, but it was like a big private house. So I don't know if, if that's the reason, because we're so rural, I can't imagine there'd be any other reason to build a railway station up here. But I think there's some remains there, so we'll go and have a look. Bit of a recap then. This railway opened in 1885, it closed in 1965, but they were trying to open it from, from the mid 1860s. We just couldn't get it off for whatever reason, different reasons, people going bankrupt, um, not getting parliamentary approval. There's a few reasons. Oh, we found a nice bridge as well. Um, but eventually they built it. And so, hello, mate. There you go, look at that. Beautiful stonework. There's not been that many remains really in this bit that water coming down. Phil's just chatting with this lad who says there's trees down up here, so I'm gonna go and have a look. That could just make a point of just how bad it is. So just up from Filing Hall Station, this puts it into context, isn't it? You gotta sort that out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? That's how bad it is. Uh, we're climbing up to Raven's car, which is gonna be the worst bit, so Filing Hall Station we're going to come up to in a minute. That was unmanned basically from about 1958 I think because it's so rural. But for some reason it closed in 1915. It didn't reopen again till 1920. I don't know the reason behind that. Phil was saying to me earlier when we were talking about it maybe it's World War related. I don't know. Maybe the station got damaged. Maybe people got killed and, and so therefore you know they, they didn't have the staff. I'm not entirely sure. Couldn't find out any more information. But what we're going to do when we get up to Raven's car, because that's really exposed, is we're going to actually take stock. Because I keep saying we're not quitting, and I don't want to quit, but it's getting worse and worse. And seeing that tree down, I don't fancy one of them coming down on my head. So maybe looking at weather forecast, it looks like it's not going to be quite so bad tomorrow. So maybe we'll have to come back out tomorrow and do the rest of it. But we'll see. We'll try and persevere as long as we can. Oh, mate. So up there was where that tree was down. There's a nice little bridge here, look, look at that water, just flowing down. We're not far from the station now, Filing Hall Station. I'm drenched through some of pants, like, well, I'm the boxer, so don't wear pants, but, you know, normally it's just your trousers, but no, I'm, I'm all the way through now. Still spotted a bridge, so I'll just come off the track bed ever so slightly. I'm trying not to stack it. 
here we go look no idea what that's access for though that's quite cool hanging down like that but it doesn't seem to really go anywhere but i guess it would have done once upon a time okay all right yeah very strange maybe it's for water flow off the fields there we go there's the station master's house filing hall station master's house the station oh I've just stood in a massive puddle right it's gone right up to my ankle the station buildings aren't here they did they did have station buildings here but i think the platform is sort of buried is it buried in here oh it's all in that foliage that's annoying Although it looks kind of buried, like rather than it's just had stuff grow on it, that's, that looks like it's been buried. Was there a passing loop here? No, there was, I think there was one station, wasn't there, on the line that didn't have one, maybe, maybe two, but most of them did, but... Well, this had a good signing, can you believe it, in the middle of nowhere, it still had a good signing. Yeah, we really are in the middle of nowhere as well, like, I would send the drone up, but I don't think I'd get it back. And there's like some fencing. I don't know how original that fencing is. It looks pretty old. Here we go, here's bits and bobs oh, then. Hold on, the line went there, didn't it, I think? So that, that's the platform, the track bed there, look. I think it's, we've been diverted off, look. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, so there's that, there's there's that original the fencing. Fence, yeah, and I think that's the platform there. That's why people miss it, because it's, it's there. You can just get through on here, can't you, sure? I think so, yeah, there's something going on here as well. Ah, yeah, so that's how you can get up to the road. Yeah, the track there. And here's the platform then. This looks like this is part of station buildings then, maybe. Because the there's a lot of red brick, because there were station buildings here. Yeah, this is the here we go. Pretty detective work, too, find it out. So that's the railway line then. Yeah. The actual line. And there you go, there's the platform. Still bits and bobs. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try and find some photos of this station. I don't think I've actually seen any photos of this one. This is one of the ones I've not seen, I don't think, but I'm sure there'll be some somewhere lurking around on the internet. Original posts look there as well. So yeah, this was, uh, like I say, an unmanned halt from about 1958 and then 1965 it went 8th of March, I think it was 8th of March, it went with the uh, the rest of the line, day after my sister's birthday, not that that's connected. There you go, and it drops down, it looks like the, the track bed's fallen away, look, down and it would have gone across. Is there a bridge out here then? Yeah, it was there. there That's why nobody sees this platform, because the cinder track takes you off it, look, doesn't it? Of course it does, yeah. So, no one knows. so there you go. So there's a bridge that goes across there then, and then that, that's the rest of the track bed right there. That's it, that's why people miss it, yeah. Well, I'm glad we didn't. There doesn't appear to be any remains of this particular bridge. This road goes down to Boggle Hole. It couldn't sound more Yorkshire, could it? Boggle Hole. And then back up onto the line. Okay. Right, on up to Raven's car. I've actually enjoyed this little period where there's been some tree coverage. Because I think we're about to get royally exposed. You go and spend a penny. <laughs> and I'll keep walking. On we go. Okay, see another, see another bridge in the distance. So where we're walking to, Raven's car, used to be called Peak. So in 1885, when this uh, railway was, was opened, it was called Peak. And it remained being Peak, and therefore Peak Railway Station, up until 1897, when basically all the industry that was around there, like the alum mines and stuff, had gone. And they wanted to turn it into a tourist resort, so they renamed it Raven's car. The reason I'm telling you this now is because when I get up there, it's, it's, it's really exposed, so you probably won't even be able to hear me. But the alum mine there, now what alum is, as I understand it, 
is is a byproduct that they get out of the ground and it I think it basically it fixes colors fixes dyes to clothing or at least it did uh, back in the day so that's what they used to use once that had all closed they went Do you know what we're gonna we're gonna turn this into the new Scarborough the new Whitby and so they started they built all the sewers they built all the roads they built two or three hotels which are still there and then they basically ran out of money because they realized that it was actually an absolute sheer drop basically you feel better now a sheer drop down to the to the kind of rocky coast and therefore you know people pulled their investment and stuff and so it's left and, and we'll go and have a look but the sewers and stuff are still in place so it's basically all the infrastructure was built for a town that they never built this is a nice one this one phil yeah, this look at that brickwork yeah. that's great here's a really good one yeah I know a lot of the bridges have got that on this line, even the ones going underneath it. I think they're quite cool. Oh, it's coming out from up there, yeah. Yeah. Right. Onwards. So after a big climb into Raven's car, you were saying that they used to have like two or three carriages only because they shared. Yeah, when you see pictures, you only see very local stoppers. Then you see some kind of excursion, you tend to have a steam engine at all. Oh, look at this gradient. Yeah, yeah. They'll turn you around. Do you see? Oh, mate, right. So the gradient is like, it's quite a hill. This was a, a brickworks and then was a quarry. And I'll just take you over here so you can see the sea. And it's going to be pretty bad vis um, audio, audio wise, but, but the visuals are nice. Look at that. Look at that face. Jeez. Baltic. In the distance, that's Robin Hood Bay. So you normally can sit here and you've got a beautiful view, but obviously not so much today. But look at those waves. Oh, yeah, the turret. Yeah, that's where people go bird watching in there. Oh, is it? Yeah. So that's that's Raven's car up there. Yeah. And here we go. So there's some. Some sleepers buried there. The line goes off in that direction, straight ahead. We're going to skirt down here. I think this was a siding because this was a brickworks here, and then obviously it became a quarry. Hence why it's all like that. But you get down to that curry. So uh, curry. What? <laughs> I've not eaten. Food, by the way. Not I'm starving. So you get down to this quarry site. Sorry, not curry. Um. And you can go under this bridge. Let's have a look. You yep. found a mushroom. No, no, no. Honestly, I'm shivering. It's gone through to my bones. Look at that. Oh, there's two arches. That's random. You don't normally see that. Let's have a look at that bridge again, though, because I do like the old the double arch. So here we go. So the Whitby line, the Scarborough Whitby Railway is going over the top. I don't understand. It's like, unless that was like a walking path for staff and that was another, you know, way of getting goods up and down. Yeah. Whatever it was, but I don't think that's, that's an H. That must link up somehow and get up onto the road. It's, it's, you know, unless transportation only went out by rail. But I don't know. Yeah, strange, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we've come up. This feels like it's been kind of infilled to a certain degree, doesn't it? Because it's, there's no, well, the train's not going up that, that's ridiculous. Um, it shoots to the right of them people there, look at a lower level, and they just piled up there. Yeah. There. So there is, by the look of it, quite a nice looking bridge there. And then you get to the tunnel. So we're going to go and have a look at Raven's Car Tunnel. Phil thought you could get in it, but then the lad that was moving the tree earlier didn't seem to think you could. So. One way to find out. Yeah. Here we go. That's a nice looking bridge, that one. It's kind of quite quirky in the fact that it goes and then drops down. Oh yeah, because they wondered where it went. Oh, Maybe that's it. it. Yeah. Came up well there, and then went up onto the high ground. Where yeah. Possibly. Could well be. Okay. Now it follows around there where these two ladies are, but the actual tunnel goes straight ahead, really. So we're going to try and clamber through and see what we can find. See the boundary fencing is here, 
but the trap bed's going to be in there and go straight through. I'll just show you that view again. This would have been an incredible line, like on a beautiful day riding the train. To be fair, even now, if I was sat on a warm carriage with a nice cup of tea, I'd be loving that view. It's just not quite as much fun when you're drenched through. Okay. My trousers now, I'm wearing like joggers, and they've got so much water in them that I'm really fucking down. So, it's an embarrassing moment that might, you know, land me in trouble. It was an accident, Your Honour. Did not mean to expose myself. Okay, right, so we're going to jump in then. Let's see. Get, didn't you, oh, got right in my face. Oh, can you get down there? Uh, I don't know, but it looks like this is where you'll kind of go. But it's still not a true reputation. No, it's not, you know. It was at this height. Okay, so we've clambered through that, and we're here now. Coming up to the tunnel mouth of Raven's Car Tunnel. Not a particularly long life. Again, there's a lot of these railways didn't really have particularly long lives, did they? Ooh. Here we go. It's proper overgrown, but it's actually not quite as wet as I thought it would be. Let's have a look. Looks like you can get inside. Well, they've blocked it off, but you can get inside a bit before they block it off, so that's kind of them. Look at that stonework. Oh, I just ripped my coat. Look at that. There you go. Rain's coming down, I'm stepping inside. Inside Raven's Car Tunnel. Oh, hang on, you can actually get right inside. What was the point in that? I mean, so what I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that wind is coming straight through that tunnel. Straight through at me. That is spooky. Yeah. It's like Ben as well. I've not got a torch. <laughs> That's gotta be on the other end to an extent to be able to get that amount of wind Yeah, it must be. It must be. Okay, clamber up over the top. Note to self, bring torch. Okay, it's getting worse and worse. We're at Raven's Car Station now. Uh, it's just insane. I think we're going to have to sack this off because it's so dangerous. We've tried our best to get some bit, but we've thrown off the bottom. So, okay. ones that were built as part of this whole big hotel you know we're gonna rival Scarborough we're gonna rival Whitby and become a new resort and stuff like that um, they were the only ones that were built let me turn you around they were the only ones that were built this whole plot here all has sewers and everything all built under it's all supposed to be where the hotels and the houses and stuff were and they never made them because they bankrupt and they realized they wanted that so the platform's still here this side. That side was a wooden platform, so obviously that's rotted away or been taken away and you know reused no doubt. I'm not sure what this structure was here, but you know I'm trying to look at some old footage. And that then goes on to Scarborough, but I think we're gonna have to knock it on the head at this point. This building right. Yeah, the wooden station building's there, just there. Thanks for watching, as always, see you next time.